Hey there, Hofstra fans. I'm Mark Wiener, joined by head coach of the Hofstra Pride women's basketball team, Krista kilburn Stavetsky, and that must mean it's almost time for basketball. The 2015 non-conference schedule, that's what we're here to release. Coach, how are you? How's the offseason? Doing well. It's very good. Good. Uh, before we get to the schedule, we got to keep them waiting. Why don't you tell us a little about the offseason workouts your team had and, and all, how that went? I, I thought it was a great summer. Uh, Emily Esselman, uh, our strength coach, had the team here since about, well, they didn't leave and stayed here in the middle of May. and, and uh, they trained extremely hard in the weight room and it really showed on the court, you know, during our practices and our general individuals. So um, the team really put in the work for the summer and, and they stayed here for several summer school sessions and, uh, you know, we're working out early in the morning. They had a 6.30 lift time and uh, individuals after that. And, uh, you know, I think that's that's where you're going to see the benefit of, of their hard work. It'll pay off for this year. We already know what the first game of the schedule is because the men's basketball team released their schedule. We mentioned it then. You guys will play Navy as part of a doubleheader. That was really fun last year when you guys right. did it. Obviously, the result wasn't that great for your team, but nonetheless, it was a fun atmosphere at the MAC. Oh, it was. You know, that was a great opportunity for us with all the fans there and a little bit of disappointment, but uh, it, we ended up we ended up doing well. You know, you have those, those games to try to build your character a little bit, but uh, excited about having a doubleheader, excited about uh, having Navy, as which you know, a very strong team, uh, you know, a couple years removed from going to the NCAA tournament and then 17 wins last year, so it will definitely not be a walk in the park. Uh, we'll be the 13th of November at 6 p.m. The women's game goes first, then the men will take on Canisius after that. And then the next game, a huge rivalry, the first time since 2010 you guys will take on Stony Brook, another very good team as well out of the America East, and always a fun game against your rivals. Yeah, I was here for those first two years that we played them, and uh, you're right, it is a, it, it's nice to have something to build that's close to home. Uh, you know, being down south, you had you know, all of your rivals, if it was Georgia, Georgia Tech, you always had, you know, people in the same uh, area. So to have Stony Brook, it would be nice to build, you know, just a really good, you know, who's the best on the island type type deal. So uh, that's going to be fun. And then they went to the WBI and won 17 games last year. And I'm sure they're going to have a chip on their shoulder coming back in here to play. So, you know, it'll be it'll be a tough contest. Absolutely. So two 17-win teams coming into to, to the MAC to begin the season. Then you have a 24-win team. You go to the first road trip at American University, the Patriot League champions. That's definitely going to be a tough test. That, that is. And, you know, I, I was excited. Uh, a lot of reasons to go back in the D.C. area. We Obviously, we recruit that area. Kelly Loftus is from right down there in the Mount Vernon uh, area right there. So to be able to bring her back home is going to be great against her family and, and friends. Um, and then again, a really good, you know, uh, American team. They, they lost to Iowa, played them tough, um, you know, won that Patriot League. So, so some tests, some very good tests early. And it will be a two-game road trip. Obviously, you guys will come home first, but you go yeah. at Fairfield on the 24th, right before Thanksgiving. A 15-win team that you have to assume will be a little better this year. Well, they're well coached. You know, Joe does such a great job. Uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for him. Um, and, and they're well coached. And, and so this is nothing... You know, nothing that you, you take lightly, no matter, uh, you know, what, what level, what conference, it doesn't matter. Everyone's playing to win and everyone's in their team geared up and they see Hofstra on our chest and that's what their coach is telling them, you know, to have a signature win for them. So we've got to be on our, our A game. After that, potentially the most exciting part of the schedule for you and your program, the 27th and the 28th of November, you'll be at the San Juan Shootout taking on Oregon State, obviously a very tough opponent, and Coastal Carolina. But more importantly, you're going to Puerto Rico. You have Chris Luciano and Ali Leon that both are hailed from Puerto Rico, so that'll be fun for them and the whole team. Well, I mean, first, I, I, I can't say enough how much I appreciate from the administration and above to get to go to Puerto Rico, to be able to have a chance to take the entire team and the staff to Puerto Rico to have that you know, type of tournament on your schedule, you know, for everything helps in recruiting, helps in every aspect. But, uh, you know, to be able to take this team, this current team, uh, you know, with kids from Puerto Rico, uh, you know, from Ponce, uh, Alianz from Ponce, and so her whole family and Crystal just right down the road. So they're in San Juan. But, uh, you know, I can't think of enough. It's just going to be fun. We're going to be there for several days. And uh, it, I think it'll be a great experience. And then Oregon State, what can you say? They, they end up being top 10 this year. But the first time I think we, have played the top 10 since we played Connecticut back, um, you know, years back. So, you know, that's a, they're, they're huge. They've got great size. They won 27 games last year. Uh, I think they ended up the season 13th ranked. So, uh, you know, it will be a nice test, uh, you know, on a neutral court. And that's what you're always looking for. If you're going to, you know, have a chance to, to steal one from somebody on a neutral court, uh, in Puerto Rico, so it's a good avenue, a good venue to be uh, to be playing. And of course, it tests your team for two days and two days for the potential CA tournament 
later, well, obviously, the, the what will happen in the CAA tournament right. later on in the season. But then you come back home after some fun in the sun, some fun in the cold against Buffalo. Uh, they went all the way to the MAC semis, lost in the NIT first round, uh, but a, a tough opponent coming to the MAC. Yeah, and you probably recall before your time, but Felicia Legajack was the former uh, you know, head coach here at Hofstra that um, I took over after she left to go to Indiana. So, you know, it'll be homecoming for her, but. Uh, and again, with that in mind, you know, we need to be ready to go and you know, to play them. She's done a good job of turning that program around up in Buffalo. Another tough opponent, St. Joe's comes to the MAC, 12-16 uh, and 16 last year, but they were 2-12 and 12 away, so this should be a game that if they continue their away struggles, it, it should be not easy, but a, a nice victory for the front. You know, your issue with St. Joe's is that they've always led the A-10, you know, and, and they had just a moment of rebuilding or whatever in that respect, so, um, you know, Cindy does a phenomenal job. Uh, with with St. Joe's, but to me it's it's fun. You know you're going to be going up against a very well coached team, a very talented team. Can't worry about what their record was last year, um, but you know we, we just need to take advantage. And our kids know we had lost at their place. Um, you know two years previous when Kelly Loftus was a freshman, so I, they're they're excited to have that game on on the docket, so they can get a little bit of redemption here from from that last loss. It's going to be two eight eight ten teams within four days. You go at UMass, another tough team out of the eight ten, and you just want to challenge yourself in the non conference. Yeah, we were joking about that. You talk about bringing everybody back home. You know, my my husband uh, actually graduated from from UMass, so we're was teasing him, saying, uh, you know, bring you back home. But <laughs> you know, UMass is, uh, oh, you know, she's trying to turn the program around there since she took the job over, and uh, you know, it'll just be a really tough test, like you stated. And uh, at Marist to close, well, almost close out the non-conference. One more game after that. At Marist, at Delaware State. Delaware State only five wins last year, but Marist. 21 and 12, lost in the MAC final, and went to the WNIT. So very similar to what Hofstra did last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, again going back to playing Marist, often uh, close one here at home, back in our holiday tournament that uh, we still, Brian and I still talk about today because it came back to a crucial call. And uh, if Tommy see Joe on the Ray, we make a comment about that game because uh, I was a little bit fired up, you know, when uh, when uh, they were trying to make, make a change on that. So we, we played them extremely well in 2011. And uh, uh, then we went to their place when, when we were young. I think Bondi was just, uh, you know, just um, might have been a junior at that point. But it, it, was, it was just a tough place playing in their gym. It's small. They pack it out. Uh, you know, the environment is fun. So, you know, there you go again. There's a lot of games on our schedule that's going to be great environments for the team to play in. Uh, that'll give them motivation, you know, as well. Having some people in the stands and a packed stand is, is a lot of motivation. So, uh, a fun one, a fun test, a, a very tough road test. So overall, it's an uh, 11 game <laughs> schedule, four home games, five away, and two neutral site. It's a very tough schedule. There's obviously some weaker teams, but they're some, a top 10 team in Oregon State. So, you're definitely testing the team and, and all importantly, getting them ready for the conference season. I, I think this is probably one of the best schedules. And, uh, you know, kudos to Mike Gibson because scheduling is, uh, is hard. It's very, very hard. Everybody says, why don't you just call those people and somebody will play you? So, um, it doesn't work that well. It doesn't work that easy. So, I just feel like there's a lot of uh, intellectual thought and, and planning on how we scheduled. You know these these teams because it is competitive night after night. You're not really having an off night, so the teams will have to be geared up and ready to go. So not a lot of drop, you know, in play there. And then and then teams that are you know top in, in their their RPI. Um, so which again we do we take care of business and win these things. It helps us, you know, come the end of the season. So uh, you know you're getting ready for the CA with t playing teams like this, and you're trying to obviously build your RPI. So I think those two things are being uh, you know definitely taken care of with this type of schedule. So. Can't say enough about the whole staff and, you know, working hard to get ourselves ready for the season. Obviously a very tough non-conference, mm -hmm. and the CAA is going to be tough again. Uh, obviously you haven't really seen a lot from the conference so far. The preseason rankings and stuff aren't out, but what are you expecting from CAA play? Yeah, I mean, might as well just talk it out, right? Yeah. You know what it's going to be like. JMU is not going to uh, be going away. They have all their kids that are going to be seniors, and Precious uh, is going to be a senior. So, uh, you know, they, they have, they're loaded and coming back. You have a, a very young Delaware team last year that I know how talented they, they were and they were young. They're going to be now one year older, the same way with Drexel. Um, but then let's talk about Elon, right? Elon has everybody coming back. Those kids are all seniors, uh, you know, and, and then a lot of other new coaches that are trying to, you know, prove, which is William and Mary. That was a tough contest for us and then Towson. So, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's not, you know, you're going to see Elon probably go there in that top, rank, you know, therefore, like I said, bringing everybody back. And uh, the fun part about being in the CAA now after I'm what, going on with my 15th year in the CAA um, is that, you know, really anyone can win it. You know, the days of old, you know, when Old Dominion was dominated every year, you got a strong JMU who's trying to take that rank over. But 
but they're beatable and uh, you know and then we kind of got rid of the Del Don saga at Delaware so you know I think this crop of players that I'm recruiting this crop of players that I have in my program feel like they can beat anyone uh, so I think that that's a great feeling to be coaching that because even when I had a dynamic team my first year with 26 wins there was still a little bit about that dark cloud of the ODU so uh, it's fun it's fun to be coaching now these last few years have just been extremely exciting you know being in the Colonial and, and having this a great opportunity to uh, put yourself in position to win like you know last year you know like we didn't finish strong in the last couple games but you know finished strong in the tournament and had a chance to play in the finals and uh, you know they got to put ourselves right back in there. That's all you can ask. Get a chance to do that again and, uh, and get that W this time will be be great for the for the program. Well, the season mm -hmm. a little less than two months, or a little more than two months away right. from beginning for both men's and women's basketball here at Hofstra University. Coach Krista Kilburn Stavetsky, thanks so much for the time. I uh, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm Mark Wiener. Thanks so much for watching the 2015 non-conference schedule release. The CA schedule should be out in the next week or so. Check GoHofstra.com and CAsports.com for all the updates.